Almost immediately, most former rebel states enact harsh laws known as Black Codes. The Black Codes are laws designed to regulate the lives of blacks, in particular to control their movements throughout the South and to force them back onto the plantations as uh, farm laborers uh, working for the white landlords. Some codes prohibit blacks from owning firearms, buying liquor, or engaging in any trade or business other than farming. The land promised to the freedmen is returned to unrepentant rebels, sentencing blacks to a landless existence for generations to come. Often, white landowners would hire freed slaves to work the harvest, only to chase them off the land when their wages came due. Unable to collect their meager earnings, many blacks starved to death. Johnson looked the other way as these ex-Confederate governments reimposed uh, stringent controls over the black race through the black codes, which were a de facto form of slavery in that they regulated the daily lives of, of blacks, much like apartheid in South Africa. Some states go so far as to legalize the beatings of former slaves who are considered to have misbehaved beating black people who step out of line for, you know, things such as not getting off the sidewalk when you see a white man or white woman walking by. So small infractions are things that, are, that can be perceived as um, shucking that um, southern way of life, so to speak. 